everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you how to make uh, this tree. So, what you're going to need from is you're going to need uh, a base. Um, I just used this glass base from Dollar Tree. And you're going to need a styrofoam uh, tree base. Uh, now, I am using um, a smaller one. Um, I did get this from uh, the Dollar Tree. And the flowers, I was cleaning out my stash and I found them. Uh, the ribbon also came from Dollar Tree. I am using glue also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using a popsicle stick. I don't remember where I bought this. And then you're going to need um, a wire clippers. Uh, I believe I got these at Lowe's. And you're going to need flowers. Now, these flowers I got about 15 years ago here in my home uh, hometown. And uh, that company was going out of business, and so I got them free. And so I've had these for a long time and just decided, well, this is a good project uh, to use them on. So here we go. Now, so to get started, you're going to take some glue. Maybe if I can get the lid off. Here's Okay. All right. Well, it's not coming out, so. I don't know. That's not working. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So, you're going to take some blue. You're going to just go along from top to bottom and just Put, just kind of smear some glue along the plastic. All the way down. And you're going to need, you're going to figure out your color scheme, you know, while you're shopping for your flowers. And I've already pre-cut the flowers, but to use the wire cutter for these, you're going to have to cut these down. So, that's what you need the wire cutters for, if you choose to use these kind of flowers. Um, now, as you can see, I've already got a bunch already cut up. And so, here we go. So, you're going to want to hold down your... And you're just going to poke it through, and then they just sit in that glue so they will stay there. And as you can see, I started with a layer of green at the bottom, and then I move up to the peach, and then at the top are white. So depending on you know what flowers you choose, now you can use a bigger base. Um, you can use bigger flowers. Um, I'm not sure you're going to be able to find these. And if you do, they might be really expensive. So just keep that in mind. Um, look, you know, decide when you're in the store, figure out your color scheme with whatever flowers you can actually find. Because, like I've said before, you are only... Restricted by your own imagination. So, if you can dream it, you can make it, and you can do it. And as you can see, these really don't go in that well, and that's why I have the glue. So, you're going to glue the, the base. You're going to do the styrofoam to the glass. Now, I use E6000 glue, and as you can see, it sucks that in quite quite deeply, so it is really stuck in there really good. Um, so just keep that in mind if you use the E6000 glue. It is definitely going to um, suck that up in there, but it will definitely hold it in place for a very long time. 
This is not going anywhere. Um, all right. But rather than watch me having to do all of place all of those, I am going to flip this side over so you can see the uh, the side that I have already done. Now I'm going to show you how to add your ribbon. So you're going to put your glue, and I tend to use a lot of glue um, to stick things down. So I'm going to stick. And you can also use E6000 glue um, on this. You know, whatever whatever glue you want to use is totally fine. Whatever you think is going to work. And so that is what your finished product will look like. So I know this is a, a, a short tutorial, um, but you know what? It just depends on what you want to make, how how long and short things can be. This will take, this is very time consuming. It will take a long time to push all those flowers in if you choose to use small flowers. If you choose to use larger flowers, it's definitely not going to take you um, an extremely long time. If you use the bigger flowers that you get from Dollar Tree, um, you can pop those in and be done in probably 20 minutes. But this one, because I use such smaller flowers, um, it's going to take me a long time, um, so I'm definitely not going to put you through the torture of watching me do that. But um, I do want to say um, thank you for joining me today. Um, and uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any ideas on products that you want me to review, if you want me to try them, um, if you have um, craft ideas, things you want me to, you want to see me make, um, definitely give, leave those in the comments section. And um, I will do my best to uh, accommodate those. Now, if I don't do your product, your project, or whatever, it's either I can't find um, the project to review, to buy it, to review it, or um, if it's a craft project, I may not know how to do that project, and I might just be researching how to do it, or I don't have the material to do it. Um, so it just kind of depends. So if I don't immediately respond and put your your idea into a project, um, don't feel bad. I definitely will be probably doing that in the future. But, you know, you just got to give me time to research if I don't know how to do it. Um, all right. Well, so thank you for joining me um, today for my little um, vase tutorial. Whoa. Now it's falling apart, as you can see. Sorry about that. Thank you for your time. Thank you for joining me, and you have a wonderful day. Bye.